What's up, everybody? It is your boy, Bobby Costin, your favorite SDR. And today we are here with another episode of Science People, where we meet our scientists. And today I have the wonderful head of training, Miss Kate. I'm going to let you take away your name. Artemenko. Artemenko. Kate Artemenko. Kate actually trained me when I first started working as science. Can you believe it or not? And could you look at us now? Here we are interviewing each other. It's crazy how the world works, right? So, Kate, yeah, I have a couple right. questions for you. I want to know a little bit about you, other than what we already know. And what do you do as science? Well, so where do I even begin? Right. So back then, when I started at the university. I knew that I want to go back to being a teacher, a professor, a lecturer at the university. So that was my dream, just because my mom is a teacher and I was always passionate about working with people, teaching them, helping them learn something new. And that is something what I was always passionate about. And of course, when I started my journey here at Science, well, in 2015 or eight years ago, we were a small startup. Yeah, can you believe that? We were a small startup, just 10 employees in the capital of Ukraine, Kiev. And here we are eight years later, huge company with so many products, services, with our artificial intelligence. So yeah, this has been an exciting journey for me. But going back to your question, initially, I knew that I want to teach people. I want to help them grow. I want to see them grow. And that's why I would say the training path here at Science came very, very naturally to me. When we started hiring new people, when the company started growing, that's the career I identified for myself. I started working with those newcomers helping them, teaching them, coaching them. And yeah, that, that, that's, that's my journey. And that's, I would say who I am within science. That's something that I'm really passionate and excited about. You know, that makes so much sense because you really, like if you've ever, if all my science people, if you've ever taken a training course or if you, you know, when you first started and you meet Kate, she's just like such, it, it, it's such a vibe of a teacher, but also like the vibe of like a, a, a friend kind of showing you how to work through things and like giving you like the tips and tricks on how to get through things. So the teacher like really flows through you and it shows that you have a passion for it. And I'm glad that you found the perfect position for you because it really does fit you so well. And speaking of perfect position, I want to know how has your role evolved over time with you being a science? Wow. <laughs> oh, wow. Where do I even begin? Right. So where do I even begin? Well, well, as I started with science, we were a startup, like you mentioned, right? So we were all in data, in SDR, data researchers, SDRs, multitaskers, <laughs> uh, doing sometimes even doing HR duties, right? So I would say every year my role my position in the company evolved and changed, right? So you can see that it's head of training for the past couple of years, but my role, my responsibilities as that head of training changed almost every year. Why? Because every year was a challenge, right? Still is with the COVID when the war in Ukraine started, right? So that is something what changes you, shapes you as a professional, but also on different stages of the company, of our growth, what happened is we realized there was different need, right? Sales, right? We wanted specialization. So we had call-in specialists, we had messaging specialists. Now we focus on IE and how to leverage that IE, right? So whenever we see that market trends are changing, the way people do business is changing. We as a company adapt, adjust, and we want to be ahead of those changes, of course. And I'll be very honest with you when I say the 
IE, chat GPT, leveraging chat GPT came to us. And that's what we've been doing before this even became a trend before so many videos on YouTube uh, emerged. And I'm proud to say that I was part of that. So my role has evolved, of course, because I, I started by training people, right? First doing the job, then of course, training people. And then of course, my first trainers, right? Training trainers, training the trainer is a completely different, <laughs> that is a completely different path. Why? Because it's not just that you need to teach them how to do the job, how to be responsible, because it's both soft and hard skills that you need to help those trainers develop. And that is why, well, I'm very grateful for this journey. And I feel that so many changes, yeah. so many evolutions mm -hmm. happened here and there. It made us stronger as professionals, but it also gave so many opportunities to develop both personally and professionally, I would say. So yeah, starting from hands-on training, moving to working online, teaching the people via Zoom from Philippines, Mexico, United States, I still remember. So also like, you know, starting opening new offices in different locations, that was something that was part of that journey, of course, because learning how to work with different locations, what words to use so that they understand what you're saying, right? What different approaches you use when it comes to training those people, using LMS, more hands-on training, one-on-ones, right? So it's not just that my role changed because initially I was doing the job, then teaching people how to do the job, then training the trainer how to do the job. And then of course, in the parallel, working with different locations, working with different offices, working with the leadership, reporting directly to the leadership was also part of that, which is was a challenge as well, because you learn how to work with different personalities. And that is an amazing experience, for, I, I, I can say. That is definitely a perfect experience that shapes you personally and professionally, of course. So much personal development and so much professional development goes into how long you've been with this company. You've been through not only a start of a company, but you've been through a global pandemic, a, a war, an AI revolution. And so much has come from that, that there's, this is the epitome of evolution, like what you've been through. And even to say all that, I, I really wonder, and as I'm, as I'm hearing you talk, I'm like, man, I wonder what, what advice would you give your younger self before coming into this role? Whoa, <laughs> whoa, whoa. Probably the advice that I was actually given <laughs> back then when I started. Do not take it personally. That is it. Just do not take it personally. Because sometimes, you know, when things happen not the way that you expect them to happen, right? And that would be an example, your trainer. They're living because they decided to pursue their career elsewhere, right? Or the trainee that you invested so much time in is saying, I, 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 I'm parting ways, or I'm now in this role. That, of course, sometimes hurts you. So never take it personally, right? Because also those people that you invested your time in, those people that you helped grow, they're always coming back to you. And that is also so rewarding. Like, you know, being a teacher, being a trainer, being in learning and development in general is so very rewarding because people are coming back to you here and there. Like, you know, when you have your work anniversary, when uh, they're getting their promotion, they're texting you, hey, Kate, I remember our first day in this office, like, you know, where we worked from office back then, or I remember you, Kate, like, you know, with your virtual background, because this was COVID, this was pandemic time. And this is so very rewarding, because of course, 
I, as a teacher, I cannot remember all, like, you know, all the stories of all 3,000 employees over the world that we have trained in the past eight years. But of course, they remember you. And for them, you are special. That's why it is very important to treat each trainee, each employee that joins your company. And that is part of your company's journey as an individual, of course, with respect and giving them like, you know, wins to fly. And that's, I guess, what we do with training. That's what we do with learning. We give them knowledge. We give them training. We give them those wins that they can use to fly. You know, even with me, like now, look at us. Like you, I <laughs> I literally us. started with the company with you and now we're here interviewing each other. And it's just like, you've had such an impact on so many people. I can see how rewarding that can be. And I want to, first of all, give you your flowers, but also I want to ask you, because you had, once again, like just going back to the evolution of your career and how many people you've trained, like over 3000 people all across the world is crazy. So I wonder, what are you most proud of in your career so far? Well, that, that's a hard one. Why? Because I'm not saying every day is a challenge. I'm not saying, um, let me think about this one. Well, I would probably, I would probably say my trainers and my team. Why? Because seeing how they grown, starting just as ASDR is here, learning the basics, and then evolving to sales professionals is this is priceless, right? So this is something what you can never be thankful enough for, seeing that you gave them that opportunity to become unique professionals in the market and serving the company, teaching all those trainees, giving them opportunity to grow and find their place in this sometimes hard sales world is so priceless. So I would say my team, because working with newcomers might be different. Working with existing employees who are not part of your team is also different, right? So ongoing learning, coaching sessions, of course, but your trainers, your team is something which you are attached to very on a very very personal level so of course they all trainees all people that were part of my journey and they are our babies if you will but trainers are they are more than that so i would say the training team the strong training team that i was able to build and hearing that, it almost sounds like you've answered two questions in one, because the next thing I was going to ask you is, and to finish, who inspires you the most in the company? And it, it's just, it's such a loaded question. No one can ever pick one person, but one, I already know that that team right there is inspired. I mean, just those words themselves. But also, like, I wanted to know, like, who do you think should be featured in the next episode of Science People? Oh, okay. So the person who inspires me and then should be in the next episode, right? Okay. I'll need to that one just because I have so many people in mind, right? So from both leadership and also the people from the team who are on the same level as I am. Therefore, therefore it might be harder right so if i speak about my colleagues the people that i work with like you know every single day on the same level as i am i would say that is natalie german from the data department she is a true inspiration why because not only she goes above and beyond for her team she is not afraid to just dive deep into the job right so if we need to create 800 contacts for this client because we need to get this done. As up, she's ready to do the job. Coaching her team, training her team, helping them grow, she is there to help them. Also working on the ongoing improvement of the processes that they have in the data team. This is so very inspiring because she is one of those people that, you, you know, she never rests. <laughs> That's what I can say. So I would say, Natalie. That is the person that came first to my mind. Well, Natalie, for watching this.
Keep your eyes and your ears to the ground. So we might be contacting you very soon. But I want to give a big thank you to Kate. Thank you so much for hopping on and talking to us. I know things have been crazy. You guys are going through a lot of really exciting changes and we're we're making the most of it. And I'm finally glad that I was able to sit and talk with you. Like I said, she, she trained me. So, <laughs> I mean, how much crazier can it get? Like just to see the growth from here and the evolution of such an amazing teacher. So, Kate, thank you so much. If you guys have any questions or comments for Kate, go ahead and leave them down in the comments below. We'll make sure she gets them so that way she can get them answered. And if you have anything else that you want to see from us, go ahead and also put that in the comments. Make sure you like and subscribe. And I want to say thank you again, Kate. And remember, it's not sales. It's science. Peace, guys.